Hi guys, I am a big fan of Elon Musk and it is not only because he looks like me. No, you look better than me. Oh, thank you, thank you Pink Lady. But mainly because as you know, he is a big entrepreneur. Tesla, SpaceX and so on. So you know what is the mission of SpaceX? It is a space travel and colonization of Mars. That sounds very cool. That sounds cool. But I'm here to tell you something that Elon is not going to like to hear. I'm to tell you to forget SpaceX, stay on Earth. Really? Why? Really? Well, let me give you first three reasons why it's not a good idea. Hmm. First one, it simply takes too long. How long? Seven months. It's seven months? Seven months, because it's 300 million miles, which is, I think, 480 kilometers. It's a long journey. Mm, definitely. Second reason, if you're okay with spending seven months on SpaceX, maybe watching YouTube and so on, you're okay with it. Maybe Rem watching Pink Lady. Maybe. Remember this, you land there, what do you have to do first? First, you have to fight with Martians. Doesn't sound like fun to me. Mm -hmm, that's and, right. And also, sp sp Martians are not very attractive. They're mm. ugly. Actually, they are not pink at all. Exactly. The third reason is that it does cost money. How much? Well, the passengers on initial SpaceX, and that one just went here to orbit, each paid $55 million. So imagine how much would be trip to Mars. Oh my God, like what, like 300 plus? No idea, millions, millions. So it's simply too expensive. I'm here to tell you how you can save time, save money, no fighting with Martians, and you can stay here on Earth. Really? Yeah, but to be honest, I learned it by accident. Not really I planned this very well, but it was a good experience. Interesting accident. Yeah, yeah. I spent a number of months in Israel working. On the weekends I was traveling and I saw many places in Israel. So one long weekend I decided I go outside of Israel to neighboring country. And let me remind you, Israel is right here right here israel and i decided to go to jordan which is next door to israel i wanted to see in jordan one of the seven wonders of the world called petra what is petra is it like peter's sister or something no 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 petra it's an ancient city carved in sandstone and i think it dates two or four hundred years bc so quite old ancient city mm, is it pinkish a little bit a little bit if you look at the pictures so i knew about petra and i remember also petra from indiana jones movies if you recall he was looking there for the holy grail oh how cool that was cool i remember yeah so i decided to enter Enter Jordan from the south end of Israel from a city called Eilat and Eilat is a vacation and party city of Israel so I had a, I had a good time in Eilat. Did you party? Uh, just a little bit, a little mm -hmm. bit. I was more looking forward to my adventure. So Petra, party. But the border, no party, no fun. There are high fences, many soldiers on both sides so you feel really very humble. It's scary. A little bit, uh, feels like. But if you are a tourist and you are smiling, they let you go through, they are nice to you, so no harm was done. Once I crossed the border, they put me on a small touristy bus with few, few other tourists and we drove through deserts and small Jordan cities and more deserts, more small cities. You don't see many trees around, but in a few hours, we entered more mountainous area uh, where is Petra located. And once you arrive, I tell you, Petra will take your breath away. Why? Because it's pink? Not only, it's just impressive structure. And what you wonder is how they actually built it. If it is so old, it's impressive. It looks beautiful. And I was even looking for a holy grail. Of course, I didn't find it. Indiana Jones beat me to it. But I found something interesting. Look at this parking spot or garage locals are using for their cars. Is this flying car or something? Must be. I don't know how did they get there. So I think it was kind of interesting. It looks like 
like a Martian car. <laughs> Maybe close, close. So tour, touring of Petra, of course, very cool. The day is gone quickly. And I was lucky enough to stay in a quite nice hotel, which had pool and grass. So for a moment, you actually forget you are in, in a desert. So, mm, so fancy. I still don't know to this day where did they get the water. So. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe from Mars <laughs> or from Elon. So the next day tour was to something called Wadi Ram. What is it? Ram? Like Ram? Like I I had no idea what it means or where I am actually going, I have to admit. But I quickly realized it actually stands for Mars on Earth. Mars on Earth? Yes, yes, Mars on Earth. I realized and learned that Hollywood discovered this place way before me and they actually filmed many good movies on that location. Like what? What movies? It was over 30 movies, but the most famous one are of course Star Wars, Prometheus, even John Wick and naturally also the Martian with Matt Damon. Oh yeah, I remember. I like Martian Ex and I like Matt. Exactly, exactly. So all the cool movies were filmed there. So it makes me wonder, why would anyone go to Mars? Yeah, it makes sense. Right? So I told you at the beginning three main reasons why it's not a good idea. It's a time, it's a money, fighting with Martians. And I learned there is even more good reasons to stay on Earth and not to go to Mars. Really? Yeah. The first one, you can do sandboarding there, but you don't have to wear a helmet. Do you see helmet on this picture of me? I don't. Exactly. So sandboarding without helmet. I mean, how cool it is. Second, you don't meet Martians. You don't see Martians. You just see wild camels running around. I ah, mean, that sounds more fun that's very cool. than that's fighting. Yeah, yeah. Also, instead of this tiny Martian food or something from tubes, you can eat proper food in this desert, like meat and prepared on a wildfire. Yummy! Exactly, exactly. Number four, you can drive open air jeep, which to me sounds more fun than some kind of Martian vehicle enclosed. Unless the vehicle is pink. That's true, that's true. And last, number five, you can make some good real friends in Vadiram instead of these ugly Martians. That's right. So, number of good reasons to stay on Earth. So, my friends, what is the lesson we learn today? Elon Musk, yes. Oh yeah. SpaceX, no. I agree. Thank you for watching.